You're watching Open House. From sprawling paths to picturesque patios, over the years House Beautiful magazine has covered many gorgeous gardens. We asked Sophie Donaldson, editor-in-chief of House Beautiful, to take us back to one of her most memorable. Our next stop is at the inspiring West Hollywood home of interior designer Mark Sykes. Hi Sophie. Hi Mark. Welcome back. Thank you. Good to see you. Mark, it looks so beautiful in here, but you've done something differently. I can't place it. What is it? Well, we've redecorated since you were here last. I guess the biggest difference is we took the window treatments down because I really wanted to open up the living room to the gardens. And we just hang these beautiful custom Gracie panels, which were colored to reflect the outdoors, all the greens and the blues, and did some reupholstering and moved some things around, and here we are. One of my favorite things about this room is that it feels very polished, really elegant, a little European, but it's really easygoing. I think it's because of the neutral color palette, that for one, and then there's so much texture, whether it's the albaca rug or the mix of like linen and velvet and stripes and checks. It's very, very subtle and it's very serene, but it does have a very elegant California feel. And right now I'm hearing birds, I hear the fountain outside, and I'm seeing all of this greenery almost creep into this room. The garden actually feels part of this room. Should we go out? Yes, let's, let's go. I'm dying to see. This is totally magnificent. It's unbelievable and there's so, so much, much impact the second you walk out here. The garden goes on and on and I love that it feels like multiple rooms, lots of little nooks. And then we start here in this great living room which is really quite charming. This room literally sits off of our living room and off of the kitchen. And I think the best thing about this space is just the multiple seating areas. We're now on the second story of your garden. You have like three stories here. It's incredibly grand and it feels quite French and manicured. I love it. And these spaces, you mentioned that you can host up here, right? The second terrace is a great place to put two round tables. We can sit up to 10 to 12 when we're entertaining. The upper garden is more of a floral cutting garden. And I love that we can actually look into the house. All the rooms in the house connect to the outside, but this is a really special place. We always keep the doors open at night. We can hear the fountain and obviously waking up into that room and then looking outside of the garden is really magical. Your house is literally covered in green too. Now this is fig ivy. It's actually, we planted it five years ago and it's on all the walls of the house and it just grows really, really quickly. And you made the most out of what's a little slice of land up here up front, right? Yeah, the house sits really close to the street. So there wasn't a lot of space here to plant lots of things. So I just created a three tier boxwood garden. The whole area is covered in rocks and there's all different sizes of boxwoods. And this area is separated from the street, of course, by a large ficus wall. Mark, this was so much fun, thank you. Oh, it's so great having you back again. I love being here. You might have to tear me away, but just tell me you'll have me over again. Anytime. <laughs>